Earlier this year, the South Korean government laid out measures to slow down the explosive pace of mortgage lending in the country. While they have proven relatively successful in curbing lending at Korea's biggest banks, those measures had some negative impact as well. Shin Zemin zooms in on the side effects. The government's introduction of tougher lending requirements was meant to control Korea's mounting household debt, but it has sparked some issues of its own. In February, the Financial Services Commission stepped in, ordering commercial banks to start screening mortgage applicants more carefully. Under the Commission's mandatory guidelines, banks are required to base their decision on a household's ability to repay the principal and the interest together. Before, banks had extended handsome grace periods to help applicants push back the payment burden. The move came as Korea's household debt reached an all-time high of 1.02 trillion U.S. dollars in February, growing $104 billion in the space of a year. The Bank of Korea says the pace of mortgage loan growth from commercial banks slowed by $1.6 billion in the first three months of the year, compared to the same period last year. But loans taken from secondary financial institutions, where interest rates are generally much higher, hit $217 billion as of February, the highest figure tallied since the central bank started collecting related data in 2003. It's not a healthy trend, according to market watchers. Most of the loans taken out from secondary and tertiary financial institutions are by borrowers that are more vulnerable in their financial standing. This will in turn become a much heavier burden on them should the key interest rates surge in the future. On top of that, the property market, which got a boost from government-led monetary stimulus measures, appears to be in a downturn. In its latest report, Korea Development Institute said the 26 percent on-year drop in home transactions in the first quarter comes in well below a five-year average. Experts say purchasing sentiment was dragged down by the new lending guidelines. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.